Hello and welcome to today's video. In our past episodes, we covered in detail the Inbox 640i Living Module and the Inbox 640b Bedrooms Module. This video brings to you a modern shipping container modular home designed by combining the two modules to create an elegant three-bedroom modular home. Stay tuned as we give you a tour of this house design. In today's video, we explore our new Inbox 1280H. Inbox 1280H is a modern modular house designed by combining Inbox 640i living module and the Inbox 640b bedrooms module into an H-shaped floor plan. The space in between the two modules serves as a family terrace to the house. This video will highlight the design brief of the house, the 3D floor plans, full color pictures of the exterior and the interior design with finishes options to choose from and also give you a cost estimate checklist to guide you in your own shipping container house project. We post weekly videos of modern homes designed using shipping containers to suit any family size. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on amazing design ideas and shipping container home designs. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. This modular design uses four 40-foot shipping containers to create a 1280-plus square feet three-bedroom house. The open plan living module is designed to accommodate the following salient features. From the entrance lobby, you can access the laundry room, an open plan kitchen with an island breakfast table for three, a dining table for six people, and a spacious lounge opening to the outdoor family terrace accessed through the full height folding doors. From the entrance lobby on your right, we have a bedrooms module. You can access this bedroom wing through a connecting lobby to the rompers room, which can also double up as a family room or a TV room. From here, you can access two other bedrooms on your right hand side or go to the master bedroom ensuite with a walk in closet on the right. Each of these modules are designed with a laundry unit. The laundry unit in the bedroom module can be converted into a small study because we have another laundry in the living module. This design series uses standardized optimal sized windows and doors which do not require any specialized modification to the walls of the shipping containers save for the full height 3 meter wide doors opening to the family terrace. Adequate fenestrations are provided in each room for adequate daylighting to help kill the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container. Interior design. Adopt a minimalist interior design when furnishing your container house. Use space saving furniture ideas like Murphy bears in the bedrooms to allow for multifunctional use of the space without littering uh, the limited space with too much furniture. Use flat pack cabinets for the wardrobes and the kitchen cabinets uh, rather than the custom units since flat packs are versatile and they come in a range of sizes and colors to choose from. Flat packs will also help you save on time and money. You are encouraged to use light colored finishes for all your interiors so that uh, you make the space look brighter and bigger uh, to contrast the constricting dimensions of shipping containers. You are encouraged to explore different finishes depending on your taste and preference. Insulation and temperature control. 
The interior of the living space is lined with an appropriate insulation material depending on the climate of where you are building. Insulation is also essential to prevent condensation which can corrode the container and cause mold. To achieve the best results in cold climate locations, you are encouraged to use closed cell spray foam insulation. In tropical climate, keeping away heat from your house is the biggest challenge. Insulation blanket with plasterboard lining will do just fine. To finish off the interior, the walls are lined with plasterboard and given a light colored paint to make the interior space look brighter and bigger. You are encouraged to use a DPC underlay to cover the existing container plywood floor then finish it with laminated timber flooring. You are encouraged to use similar materials to finish the wet areas of the house, that is the kitchen and the bathrooms in order to create a harmonious interior space. Ensure all the electrical and plumbing works are fitted out before lining the interior. Alternative interior finishes can be explored depending on the client's preference. Foundation design. Before the container modules are delivered on site, it is advisable to have an appropriate foundation to accommodate your new build. Use a raised foundation to elevate the containers away from moisture. The elevated position of the container also provides the height necessary to construct a deck depending on the choice of the foundation used. In this house design, we've used a raft foundation or what sometimes is called a slab foundation. You are encouraged to watch our previous presentation on five foundation types used on shipping container houses and buildings for more understanding. Outdoors and exterior design. A deck is a quick and an easy way to add extra living space to the rather limited space inside the container modules. This design comes up with a wooden deck in the entire space in the middle of the container modules to provide the much needed outdoor retreat family space. The original cargo doors on one end of the container are used in an open position to create private Juliet balconies to the living room and the master bedroom respectively. To cover off the large walls of the container that are left bare, a mesh wire is welded onto the exterior to accommodate vines and climbers to introduce some greenery on the walls of those container modules. The base model of Inbox 1280H comes with a corrugated steel container exterior. If you are using a one-trip container, Consider leaving the exterior as it is with its original color and markings to preserve its charm and history. This will help on saving the cost of painting the exterior with a fresh coat of paint. This design comes bundled with additional timber modules which form the entrance porch, a Juliet balcony exclosure and timber fascia boards to the flat roof. Other exterior cladding options can be explode. Roof design. Every base model of Inbox 1280H comes come again. Every base model of Inbox 1280H is covered with the signature standard seam flat roof with a side extension to cover the outdoor family terrace and the Juliet balcony. When setting out your foundation, remember to add some extra space to accommodate the deck or the family terrace. Other roof types like a gentle sloped corrugated roof cover and a planted living roof can be used. The cost estimates checklist. The inbox 1280H comes with a cost estimate checklist. This is an itemized list to guide you on the things to consider when planning for your own shipping container project. The design inclusions in this list are the house size, the deck size, the overall house dimensions, 
the accommodation list in the house, the number of shipping container modules used, the type of foundation and modifications used on the house, insulation and temperature control strategies to adopt, exterior finishes to be explored, types of interior finishes to use on your house, fittings and fixtures, a staircase and any balconies if uh, present, and last but not least, the roofing type to use. The prices of the items in the list are subject to vary depending on your country, currency exchange rate, taxes, government regulations, and more importantly, individual tests and preferences. For correct and factual figures, you are encouraged to consult a relevant expert in your country. Drawings and details. If you like this design and would like to build one as your dream family home, feel free to visit our website and purchase the blueprints and give them to your builder or fabricate it yourself as a DIY project. The standard set of drawings come in DWG and PDF formats to suit your preference. The set of drawings have dimension floor plans, elevation, roof plan, foundation plan, and a section detail. For any revisions, design inquiries, or custom designs, you are encouraged to contact us on our website, sheltermode.com. What do you feel about this amazing three-bedroom modular home design? Do you have any questions? Feel free to ask by posting in the comments below. If you need further inspiration, you are encouraged to visit our YouTube channel to check out our other container homes designs. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't for our weekly videos on shipping container homes designs. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.